Hello everybody. Well today I'm going to show you how to create a heat bleach pad using one feature line and a corridor. And this is something I've been thinking about for a while. I wanted to try it out. It seems to work fairly well. Let's get into it. Uh, I have created a, a sub-assembly called HLP right here. And then I used, um, it's just a simple line offset slope line out of the sub-assemblies. And then I, I used a 1.5 to 1 slope on this one for 10 foot down. So I went out 15 feet, went out 10 at, at 1.5 to 1. I created a 10 foot wide bench. I went down again and so forth, so forth. Anybody that's familiar with the heat bleach pad, this is what you do uh, for steep slopes for to create this uh, giant um, project of rock or material, whatever you have. So let's get started. So I have drawn a feature line up here. I really just created a polyline. I made sure I had arcs on it, smoothed it out, closed it, converted it to a feature line. Okay. The direction of the feature line matters. The feature line in this case is going this direction around here because I want the subassembly to drop off to the left side of that feature line. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to create a corridor and uh, I will call it heat bleach pad HLP. Uh, I am not going to use a line on a profile. I'm going to use a feature line and I'm going to pick my feature line. I'm going to pick this one right here. And it's got name HLP. I've got an assembly built called HLP. I don't, I'm not going to bother with the target surface. I'm going to say, okay. Now this box pops up shows me that I've created this. I've used the HLP. I'm going to set my frequencies of this a little bit different than what they have. I like to have a little bit better control along tangents. I'll go one. Curve in increments, you can go 0.5 or so. I'll go one here. We'll go one here. And I'll say, okay. I'll apply this. Rebuild the corridor. I'll say OK, and there's my corridor. Now I will go ahead and select this, and I will look at my corridor surface. I want to create a surface, HLP. I'll use my proposed surface. I want to use the top links of that works. Add that for my boundary. I want it to be the extents. I will now apply this. Get this box out of here. Uh, I now have this surface here, uh, HLP. Let's drop down into these two. I have a, a, an alignment here, an alignment here, and a profile drawn off of those. So down in my profile box here, I'm going to add this surface in here. I'm going to go to A, and I'm going to add this. I am almost there guys already um and i've done very little um i'm going to add this i'm going to draw this in profile now you can see it's in there now i'll do the same to my other profile so you can see it the other direction my lateral direction i'm going to add my heap leach into there i'll give it proposed To propose, I'll draw that in there. And now you can see that I've created the heat bleach pad. Everything's working the way it should be. I've got my elevation of 5470, I believe, at the top of that. The only thing that that you're not seeing is that you notice it's projected itself well below the existing grade. That's just exactly what I wanted because all it's lacking here now in this surface is a boundary. So I will use that magic command, minimum distance between two surfaces again. 
And what I literally do is I just begin to type it in. And I've used it enough that it pops up. And you can see a minimum distance between surfaces. I'm going to pick, pull this over here so you can see it. I'll pick existing. And then I'll pick that. And now it's going to ask me to zoom to it, yes. And now do I want to draw these 3D polylines? I want to say yes. And you will see it. You can see it popped up in there. Okay, that now will become just a boundary of my surface. So I am about done. I'm going to take underneath my tool space now and underneath the surface. This one, I am going to add a boundary. It's going to ask me to make sure it's an outer boundary. I'm going to pick this line to 3D polyline. I'm going to enter that. Okay, it wants me to select it. I need to zoom in a little bit closer, I guess. I'm going to pick that 3D polyline. And that's it. So let's look at it down here. Now, my, my heat bleach pad's done. I have totally created a heat bleach pad. You look up here in my model view, there it is. And I'm going to step over to other drawing to show you it in completed form. And that's what it looks like. And you can lift this up and look at it got my existing I've got my proposed in there you can see the the slopes and the benches in there this one I think I created a little lower in elevation same exercise it's caught to grade it catches grade perfectly spot on no questions asked now I can get a volume off of that and see where I'm at if I don't like the volume you can raise or lower that feature line in elevation and rebuild the boundary and and you'll have uh, a finished product that is a heat bleach pad, uh, quick, simple. Um, all I really did was create a feature line with an elevation, created this assembly, and ran a corridor. I hope this really helps you, and um, uh, happy HLP creating.